Our Bible lesson continues where we left off on, on Friday or Thursday. And remember, we had learned about Jesus serving his last supper to his disciples. And, to now, and now today that is called Holy Communion. And he instituted that gift for us so that we can receive forgiveness of sins through the body and blood, through, through the bread and wine. So after the Lord's Supper, he had told Judas, Judas, go do what you need to do. And Judas left, and he went to the high priest, to the other leaders, and it was getting later on that evening, and Jesus went with his disciples, and they were going into the Garden of Gethsemane. And he said, he said, Peter, James, and John, I'd like you to stay here and pray with me. And so they thought, oh, you know, the disciples thought, yes, yes, we can do that. So Jesus fell to his knees because he knew what was going to happen. He's God. He knew what was going to happen. And he fell to his knees and he prayed. And he said, Father, if it be your will, please take this cup of suffering from me. But yet, not my will, but your will be done. And the disciples, Peter, James, and John, you know what they did? Oh, for goodness sakes, they, they sat by those trees, and before they knew it, they fell asleep while Jesus was praying. And Jesus wanted them to pray with him so they, he could be strong. So Jesus got up from praying, and he walked to the disciples, and, and he told Peter, Peter, you're spirit is willing but your flesh is weak so he went back a second time and jesus prayed again and when he came back there they were still sleeping and so jesus thought okay i'll try a third time and he went back and prayed again well now this time it was getting too late and he prayed and when he came back again the disciples fell asleep a third time and Jesus told the disciples, he said, never mind, it's, it's too late, the hour has come. So as that was happening, they heard some noise. They heard torches. They saw people coming in. It was a crowd. And they saw the soldiers coming in. And there were lots of people. There was a mad crowd. And Jesus was there. And again... Peter was standing by him, and Peter thought he would be so tough and, and try to protect him. And there was a, a, servant called, a, high, a servant high priest called Malchus, and we'll put our soldiers up here. And Peter went up to Malchus, and he heard him. He drew out his sword, and he heard him. And Jesus told Peter, he said, Peter, put that sword away. Don't you think if I wanted protection... I could call my Holy Father, and he would send armies and armies of angels to protect me. And he reached and he touched Malchus's ear, and he healed him. Well, Judas came up, and he gave Judas, Judas gave Jesus the kiss on the cheek that would betray him into the hands of the soldiers, and they would take him away. And Jesus did all of this just because he loved us. He didn't sin. And he knew he would have to die on the cross to save us from our sins. And that was a punishment that was for the worst of all sinners. And Jesus had done absolutely nothing wrong. All he did was love us. And when this had all happened, the disciples all scattered and they ran away. They were afraid. And, but you know what? Throughout it all, Jesus still loved them. And he knew what was going to happen. But he did it all because he loved us. And he, he would never stay dead at all. He would rise again on Easter Sunday so that we can be with him in heaven one day. And just imagine that. He, he knew what was going to happen, but he did it for us. And for you and for me and everybody in the whole world. Can you pray with me? All right, let us pray. Dear Jesus, I thank you for today. And 
Lord, I thank you for all my friends that I have in preschool and their families are very special to me. And I ask your protecting hand on all of them and all of our health care workers and, and on our world right now. And we know that you have everything in control. We know that you love us and that you will bring us through everything. And we thank you for all your good and gracious gifts, especially sending Jesus to be our Savior. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you very much.